Welcome to the video on Tanker Operations Ecosystem. Tanker Operations is the single line of communication with the vessel. It is important for the captain to know that at any point in time, the vessel can contact someone ashore who is responsible, and this person will pick up the phone. Communication between ship and shore might have several difficulties, including the complexity of the operations and emergency cases that also imply 24-hour availability. Apart from the vessel communication, the operations ecosystem includes active collaboration with other departments of the company, as well as many external interactions. Within the company, cooperation with the chartering team is critical at any stage of the voyage fixing and, most importantly, during the pre-fixing phase. The bunker planning and procurement process also demands the heavy involvement of operations. The Disbursement Accounts team reviews the expenses of the port and canal calls in close coordination with the operations. Lastly, the post-fixture department handles the freight invoicing, collection, and the financial claims emerged from the terms agreed versus the actual voyage execution. When it comes to crew training and changes, the operations team contacts the crew department, which is usually run by the technical manager or outsourced to manning agencies. The operations team also handles the communication with all other parties involved in the voyage. More specifically, technical managers provide various certificates, coordinate the hull cleaning, and vessel preparation prior to dry dock. Brokers act as intermediaries between the operations and the charterers on each voyage. Usually, all questions or requests for certificates and other documents between charterers and commercial operators are handled by the brokers. Agents submit all required documents to the port authorities, organize the auxiliary services needed by the vessel, and ensure the smooth turnaround of the vessel. Bunker surveyors are appointed to minimize any quantity and quality discrepancies between the vessel measures and specs ordered and the barge supplying the fuel. Operations team communicates with several vendors to arrange side activities, for example, de-slopping, fresh water procurement, armed guards, among others. The operator should have sufficient knowledge on technical characteristics. A typical tanker layout includes the cargo tanks, the double hull ballast tanks, the cargo and hydraulic piping manifolds and crane, the bridge and the chimney. A typical tanker arrangement of an Aframax includes 12 cargo tanks, six port and six starboard. The vessels have two slop tanks, which are used for tank washing waste, but also for cargo load. The vessel also has bunker tanks where the vessel's fuels are stored. The operator's daily routine is designed to enable vessel monitoring, proactiveness, and efficient emergency and crisis management. First, the operators are responsible for the monitoring of the actual vessel passage based on AIS, the Automatic Identification System points via the Signal Ocean platform and liaise with the captain in case the routing is not preferable. In addition, they check the bunker consumption on a daily basis by reviewing the actual consumption, the weather, the speed, and the engine RPMs revolutions per minute, reported by the captain through the daily noon reports. The operators compare the noon report data with weather reports from external providers, the instructed speed, as well as the estimated consumption calculated by the chartering department when fixing the vessel. On top of the route and consumption, Operations team communicates the voyage orders to the captain and verifies all documents needed for load and discharge operations. Lastly, the operator updates the voyage management system with actual records regarding the arrival and sail time, bunkers consumed and bunkers on board, cargo loaded and cargo discharged, as well as other operations such as crew changes and stoppages for repairs. The operations team should be able to assess potential risks and act in advance when possible and be prepared to handle incidents such as collision, sea pollution, fire on board, crew injuries, or piracy. In such cases, the operator should manage the situation calmly based on the charterer's instructions and agreed terms in the voyage charter party. This brings us to the end of the video on tanker operations ecosystem.